Hello guys! What trended in the entertainment industry this week is the reason we are gathered here, right? Thank you so very much for being so faithful to Kames number one infotainment show, Hot and Juicy, with me, your favorite Miss Meng. And without wasting any second out of the beautiful minutes we're going to be spending here, let's get it popping with the first segment of this program. Go nowhere, guys. I'm coming back. Popular Cameroonian cross-dresser Shakira, who got released from New Bell Prison a week ago, got the beating of his life by some Cameroonian youths who are firmly against homosexuality. And I've been asking, are these youths indirectly sending a strong message to the Cameroon government in case they ever want to change the famous Article 347 which condemns homosexuality? A lot of artists have voiced out their opinion on this, and the intervention that caught my attention was that of popular Cameroonian rapper and activist Valsero. After calling those involved cowards, he continued by shading them, saying they don't stand up for things that matter, but would rather pour their frustrations on someone who did them nothing. According to the rapper, those who should be attacked in this country are the selfish and heartless politicians who have ruined the future of many Cameroonian youth and not someone with a different sexual orientation. <sighs> okay, nah. After saying this, a lot of fans came for him, insinuating that he's in full support of homosexuality. And Vassero, as we all know him, said, he doesn't care. On the other hand, we have Cameroonian uh, lawyer and LGBT activist Metro Alice Com, who says she's going to sue all those who attacked Shakiro last weekend at Anche Raphael. Man, don't ask me if she knows them by face. Remember, she's the brain behind Shakiro's release from New Bell Prison. Let me ask you those guys. Does the fact that homosexuality is not legal in Cameroon give people the right to molest and embarrass those consent? I'll leave it up to you in the comment section. Shakira, after leaving the hospital a couple of days ago, had this to say. Mochi Award winning Cameroonian artist Magasco makes public his brand new merchandise called Anthony T. Wears. What a great initiative. Can we put our hands together for Magasco? Come on, guys. The initiative was applauded by many until the price was mentioned 250,000 francs. <sighs> wow. Fans went ranting on the internet because of this, saying the price is exorbitant. Some even went as far as saying they can't purchase an ordinary raincoat for 250,000 francs. Some fans, they will shock you. Judging from our country's per capita income, where more than 50% of its inhabitants are still struggling to make ends meet, do you think it's safe to bring up a merchandise and have it sold at such a price? It's been a traumatizing week for Kamet's first daughter, Brenda Bia. After clashing and falling out with her two ex-girlfriends, Densha and Mina Eyango, Brenda Bia shared her bitter experience on social media where she said she almost got kidnapped by people close to her. According to Brie Bia, those responsible for this are her housekeeper and her driver. She even confessed that her brother overheard them planning it, but she thought they wouldn't execute their plan. Reasons behind the why are still unknown. Remember, she has been on a serious online fight with her ex-best friend Mina Eyango, who, according to her, betrayed their friendship. Brenda Bia even went as far as calling Mina a snake. One year ago, Brenda Bia was harassed by a police officer in Cameroon when she came for holidays. And this time around, it is her housekeeper and her driver, and it is happening out of Cameroon. Who are the real enemies of Brenda Bia? Guys, let me know in the comment section. Popular Nigerian artist and producer Don Jazzy shared one of Danny Green's content on his Facebook and Instagram handles and followed him back on Instagram. Who did we offend in Africa? Who, who do we offend? In America, you will hear names like Bush, Stone, but they are still successful in life. Come to Africa. Depression, one key rejoice. Blessing is begging for data. Favor is struggling to survive. <laughs> Even 
Tell my friend hope. Hope. Don't give up. Bruh. Even peace. No get rest of mine. Grace, the shout God when. God when. <laughs> Even kindness. We get past village people. Success. Don't fail. Oh, exam. <laughs> Wisdom. No get sense. <laughs> Who do this to that bag? <laughs> Who can see? Oh, who's from Africa? <laughs> I beg. Is it my name? Is it my name? <laughs> we saw some top Cameroonian artists commenting under Don Jazzy's post. We had artists like Renew, like Kosi, Wax Day, and others. And fans did not take it lightly with them. They call them hypocrites and cloud chasers who cannot share the content of their fellow brother, but will readily comment when a stranger does. How crazy is that? Can we call this hypocrisy at its peak? Guys, after the clash back from fans, we had Wax they would try defending himself, saying, if Don Jazzy makes a post and someone sees and comments, it's not hypocrisy. It is still a form of support and appreciation, and people do it every day in different ways. I don't have to share a video which does not appear on my feet for that to count. I have attended Danny Green's events before and given talks to support his movement, but bloggers don't talk about that. Should we call it hypocrisy? Question tag. Will our entertainment industry ever reach a state of grandeur? Question de temps, les choses à vérifier. That's all we have for the first segment of this program. Thank you very much, guys, for still watching. If you're here for the first time, please make sure you subscribe and tap the notification button. It is time for us to have it more entertaining with our top 10 hottest Cameroonian songs this week. Go nowhere. I'll be right back. Our number 10 video of the week is this beautiful throwback song from legendary artist Coty Francois who passed away a couple of days ago. So we are paying him homage with this beautiful song titled Benyenge Badesto. Watch and enjoy. <laughs> Popping up at the ninth position is this beautiful collabo song from Cameroonian artist Keja Kit, featuring Dulo and Treasy. The song is titled Kayamata. Number eight video of the week is coming straight away from Cameroonian artist Sebo Chipo. The title of the song is Family. Popping up at the seventh position is this beautiful brand new release titled Chila from Cameroonian artist Dufaka. Hey yo, fag man. Pass me that lighter. I said, boys, no matter your bed is the daddy swap. Chila la la la. We the wet pay day, but we still daddy swap. Go. Chila la la la. I said, guess no matter your bed is the daddy swap. Chila la la la. Chila the wet them boys, but it's the daddy swap. Go. Cameroonian artist Wax Day pays homage to his baby mama who passed away a couple of months ago and this beautiful song titled Since You Have Gone featuring Mathematic. No one will ever feel your space And nothing will ever feel the same Since you Sister ever take your place And no 
Roma. Popular by the fifth position is this beautiful song titled Miracle Ground from Cameroonian artist Maureen Foba. Something is moving under my feet. I feel the Holy Ghost moving me. The Holy Ghost moving me. I hear a sound in my ear. I feel the Holy Ghost speaking to me. To me. To me. Yeah. I'm working on. Our number fourth video of the week is titled Whoopa and it's coming straight away from Cameroonian female artist Isa. Je pouvais tout pour toi, tu ne voyais pas. Être un terme ne plus d'or était plus simple pour moi. Que de te voir, t'éloigne loin de moi. Le supporter me semblait trop dur. Garde-nous, tu n'étais plus sûr, j'ai recherché. Our number 10 video of the week is this beautiful international collaboration from Tanzanian artist Rini featuring Ben Nui, Tina. The title of the song is Popote. <laughs> Popping up at the second position is this brand new smashing release from talented Cameroonian artist Renew, titled Du Jamais Vu. Il y a certaines histoires d'amour Lorsqu'on en parle Ça dans la chair de poule Comme la mienne si haut oh, C'est du jamais vu ah, ah, ah. Je passe devant toi Matin, midi, soir oh, oh. On dirait que tu te caches Toi tu n'as pas de courage Mon frère tente ta chance Ne te décourage jamais Topping the first position on our playlist is this beautiful smashing brand new collaboration titled Degage from Cameroonian artist 60 featuring Blanche Bailey. Watch and enjoy. Yeah. Have your banana, you be baboon. You don't do me, Naman Kundu. She be fatigued, Natala Koo. Mommy, tu fais ça toujours, 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 toujours. If you want to leave me, oh yeah, dégage. Oh yeah, make you no know distress me. Oh yeah, with your bad character. Oh yeah, si tu veux partir, oh yeah, mm, dégage. Oh yeah, si mommy, tu fais ça toujours, toujours. Welcome to the last segment of this program, Pick of the Week. A big congratulations to Cameroonian social media sensation, Coco Emilia, who welcomed her first baby with her multi-millionaire husband, Francis Demba. This is her first baby as a married person, but her second child as a woman. She has a 12 years old son. We are so happy for her and we wish her the best. May God give her the strength to raise her baby girl, Sophie. Bemba Emilia. Close stop for today's exciting episode of your favorite show, Hot and Juicy. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. But before we go, a big congratulations to Cameroonian artist Avero Jess, whose hit song Nyama now counts more than 10 million views on YouTube. Don't forget to like, share, tell me what you think about all the gist in the comment section. I'll be right back next week with so much more. You know the routine, guys. Follow us on all our social media handles. We're on Facebook, on Twitter, and on Instagram. We are very much active on our website too. Make sure you join our Telegram channel. We have all the trending gist. There are things we don't post on our Facebook, on our Instagram, nor on Twitter, but we take it on Telegram. So make sure you join our Telegram group. It's 237 Showbiz. And follow our new division, 237 Showbiz Studios. Guys, do have a great weekend. <laughs> okay. After, 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 it's been a traumatizing week for Camille.